show you uh, some of my earliest scout memorabilia that I have. And obviously the um, Boy Scouts of America started back in uh, 1910. So some of the earliest uniform, one of the earliest uniforms is uh, this. They call it a scout tunic, and it has metal buttons. Uh, it was ref uh, made to mimic uh, pretty much what the the Doughboys had uh, during World War One. It's um, pretty pretty heavy. Um, the way in which I set this frame up was to uh, basically be a collage of different memorabilia to really help tell the story. So I have some pictures up here. I have some of the early scout pins to include one of the early scout master pins. And then a as it evolved, um, the early uh, scout movements also had the, the Lone Scouts of America. And that was for uh, youth that really uh, didn't have a, a, a troop or a pack that they could go to. So they wound up uh, strictly uh, doing scouting on their own. Uh, as we go down here, I was lucky enough to pick up one of the uh, early uh, the Scout's first book. Uh, this book is actually uh, an original uh, from uh, Baden Powell that he put out in England. When you when you open the the front cover of it, it actually shows uh, the manufacturing uh, back in England. So I thought that was rather neat. And uh, this was a photo from a uh, really Baltimore area council and, and it's a uh, father's night uh, dinner uh, that was with the, the scouts and really one of the things that, that I think is is pretty wild when you think about the, the history of scouting uh, this uh, publication was the the lone scout and uh, this magazine was actually put put out for the Memorial Day in uh, 1918 I believe it was 1918 for Memorial Day. And if you look on there, it was celebrating the, the history and the, the lineage of the um, Civil War veterans. It was to honor the living Civil War veterans. So if you think about that, that, that goes back a long way um, that scouting would, would uh, honor those, those folks. Uh, <clears throat> this was, pri again, pri primarily... Uh, 1910 through uh, about 1919 and then going into the 1920s I, I have uh, some additional memorabilia um, I really like uh, this uniform I, I picked it up uh, from a fellow scouter during a traderie and if you look on the sleeves the sleeves actually have the scouts rank so there was star life and there was first class over on the opposite sleeve and when I when I procured the the uniform I didn't actually have the Eagle Scout patch but I went ahead and uh, was lucky enough to pick one up uh, for a pretty penny and I went ahead and and put that on the uniform uh, to finish it off because the the Scout actually did earn the the, the patch it was in there and it was just a matter of um, trying to find another one to to replicate that and then it was neat. I picked up some early uh, scout memorabilia, uh, 1929, 1930, along the way from uh, Annapolis. And uh, it was neat. Uh, they had different field days in the 1920s, and they gave out different awards. And for this one, it was the, the monkey crab. Um, if you look up over hanging up here, you have a Boy Scout corroboree. <laughs> Uh, district trophy. If anyone uh, knows exactly what the corroboree is, uh, please uh, feel free to, to post and explain. But I thought that this was neat. This is the old, old felt uh, that was given out to uh, the winners back in uh, 1927. So it goes back quite a ways. Uh, moving on to the next frames. Uh, this is evolution into the 1930s. Uh, I went ahead and uh, took the 1935 slash 37 uh, jamboree and put a frame together uh, the jamboree journal um, with the new order of the arrow uh, basically re-electing of the the head chief uh, as well as some of the memorabilia and the neat part about the 1935 slash 1937 uh, jamboree was that the Na national jamboree uh, was planned for the 35 year but unfortunately, due to a pandemic, uh, kind of similar to what we're going through right now with uh, COVID-19, um, the Boy Scouts of America determined not to have that event take place. 
and rather uh, delay it until 1937 when it actually was put on. So there's some 1935 and 1937 patches. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get them, a lot of times you'll see they're, they're kind of moth-written um, due to the, uh, the age and the, the type of material that was used. Uh, moving on to the next frame, we have a Boy Scout swim meet uh, from 1937. Uh, I thought that was pretty neat, as well as a uh, National uh, Boy Scout uh, press for the fifth meeting in Baltimore. I went ahead and put that in there, as well as another local area uh, for National, or at the time it was DC Council, which is now National Capital Area Council. Uh, some items I got from a scrapbook that they had, as well as the Baltimore Area Council Charter that goes back to 1930. Uh, moving on to the uh, uh, additional uh, frames for the 1930s, as you can see, the uniforms evolved. Uh, they changed more into the uh, MacArthur uh, style for the, the 30s and 40s. Um, there's a, a nice uh, copy of an image of Dan Beard and the scouting founder, uh, Lord Baden-Powell. Um, up in the upper left, uh, there's a picture of the, the president. Uh, as well uh, with the scouts from Pennsylvania uh, at the Capitol. And then this was kind of neat. There was a scouting event. It was uh, probably the equivalent of a camporee that, that took place where they were doing uh, first aid and trying to work that. And then some, some other uh, neat little uh, knickknacks that uh, went along with my 1930s frame. I uh, was lucky to pick this up. This is a Scoutmaster uh, uh, uniform from the 1930s. Um, if you look at the, the upper part right here, you can see the actual uh, Scoutmaster patch as well as uh, the years of experience. The thing I like about this is on the, the lower sleeve, you can see that it's got um, 10 years in. So you, you can figure it was, you know, te teens or 20s that, that this... Scoutmaster was actually working on it and the collar pins up in the corner as well as the necktie. If you look at the actual sash, this was uh, the way in which the uniform was set up. Uh, the neat part about the, the Order of the Arrow at this time is for the, the ordeal members, they would have the sash go over their right shoulder and for Brotherhood members, because they didn't have the, the new uh, sash like we, we have today, what they do is they would put it on their opposite shoulder. They put it over on, on their, their left shoulder as well as their, their right shoulder. So that's a, a neat little tidbit about some history that we have going. Uh, moving back over, over here, we have uh, Camp Linstead. Camp Linstead uh, was lo located on, on the Severn River uh, in Maryland as well. And I was able to put a collage together uh, thanks to uh, some fellow scouters that uh, had some patches. Uh, obviously, some of the earlier stuff is few and far between. It was neat uh, that they get uh, special uh, patches and different awards that, that they put on the back of their um, merit badge sashes uh, that I went ahead and pulled off. And then when it comes to the uniforms itself, uh, this uniform is uh, from 1938, uh, as you can see with the, the standard Region 3 uh, standard camper patch, as well as uh, the Eagle Scout uh, pin and patch uh, came with this uniform uh, for the Baltimore Strip. And it was neat in the pocket. Uh, there was a Capitol Theater ticket. So obviously this scout in Annapolis, Maryland went ahead and made it to the uh, Capitol Theater for an event and it was still in their pocket so I, I thoroughly enjoyed that and what I tried to do with this collage was try to put put together like items so I tried to put a, a, a picture which gave the brief history of uh, Camp Linstead its founding and uh, how long it was in existence Camp Linstead was a predecessor um, within the Baltimore Area Council uh, to what we now have as Broad Creek Memorial Scout Reservation so 
this was a uh, was a really neat um, part of our history. Uh, when it comes to uh, a little more wider uh, approach, you have Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, uh, Delaware, uh, some West Virginia and Virginia. Um, you have the, the standard camper or region three. Um, region three um, across the board uh, was the, the higher echelon from what we, we know as uh, each of the council levels. Um, and this is some of the memorabilia that went along with that. I was able to get a uniform uh, from a, a district exec for a region three and I uh, went ahead and framed that with some of the uh, the other patches and as well as uh, some other patches that may not necessarily be within uh, the region three area I wasn't really sure on but some of these items did come with um, some other memorabilia that I had with uh, region three so I went ahead and put them in the frame. Mm -hmm.